Hey guys, it's Drea and welcome or welcome back to Drea's Budget Life. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I am going to stuff some cash envelopes. I'm going to stuff my wallet. I'm going to stuff some savings challenges and I'm going to stuff some sinking funds. Um, so let's get ready and let's go. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is stuff my wallet. And I do have some receipts for fetch um, in personal money, I didn't have anything left over. Nothing. I do have money left in gas. I do have money left in groceries and there is nothing left in eating out. So I will not be removing any money out of gas and groceries because um, I don't take anything out until it's the last stuffing of the month. And then I take that leftover money and roll it over into one of my sinking funds when I spin the wheel. <clears throat> I'm so sorry. I it's allergies um, and it seems like it gets worse right before I film <laughs> like if if that happens to you too um, so let's keep going so for my personal money I'm gonna give myself $50 that's two 20s and a 10 for gas gas I'm gonna give myself Five, no, I'm gonna do 30, 10, 20, whoa. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And I'm gonna put this in here. This will just give me a little bit more um, to get to the end of the next pay period. And I think that's it for my wallet. Yep, that's it. Um, as far as change, I do have some change, but I will save that for the next video. Moving right along, let's go to um, my holiday binder. I did have, um, I emptied out one of my envelopes because I did have a daughter who had a birthday. Um, she is 20 years old now. So I did take all of the money out of there um, and then provided her with the cash gift. So now for birthdays, I'm going to stuff my birthday with $10. I'm gonna stuff hubby's birthday $10 as well. I'm going to stuff one daughter with $10. She just had a birthday, so nothing for her. I will start to restuff this envelope um, in a couple of months. Next daughter, $10 for her. And next daughter, $10 for her. Um, the next birthday coming up is going to be this daughter's. Um, so let's see what we have in here now. 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52. Perfect. Perfect. Her birthday is in April. Um, I usually give them a hundred dollars just cash in their hand um, as one of their birthday gifts so this is what that is going towards this daughter also has a birthday in april but her birthday is later in the month so i still have a couple pay periods um, in between her birthday and her birthday to get it exactly where it needs to be and that's it for holidays let's move on to my short-term binder short-term binder is going to be really quick because I'm stuffing the Costco binder, Costco envelope, excuse me. And Costco is gonna get 40. So let's see how much we have in here now. 20, 40, 60, and 70. Ah, some of these bills, they're so dirty. All right, so we have $70 in Costco. That's going to be plenty um, because we did do a Costco run. I think I talked about it in my last video. Um, and I think we spent like $70 at Costco. We usually go to Costco and get like our drinks. Um, there's certain drinks that we like. I love the Waterloo's, um, the sparkling water from Costco. So I always make sure that we have some of that in the house. Um, and then sometimes we get... Uh, 
fruit from Costco. Um, my husband likes to make fruit smoothies, so we will get the frozen fruit um, and the big huge bags that they have in the frozen section, so he likes doing that. So we'll, we use the Costco money for doing stuff like that. All right, moving right along, let's go to personal. Personal. Hubby is going to get $30. And this is just for his personal money for whatever he wants to do. And self-care for me is going to get $30 as well. And this is what I usually use for my nails um, or anything self-care related. I did um, take my nails off because my husband um, bought me a dip powder kit and I wanna try to do the dip powder and see how that, see how it turns out. Um, they look pretty easy. The kit that I did, um, got from, the, the kit that I got from Amazon I actually watched a YouTube video on it, so it looks really easy. Um, the colors look really nice, so I'm very excited to try it. But every once in a while, I do get the acrylic um, taken off my nails just so I can give my nails a break, give them a, a breath, and then during that time, I just usually polish. So I think I'm going to try the dip nails, and of course, I will let you guys know how it turns out. And you'll be able to see it, so that's... <laughs> if it looks trash, you'll know. Um, let's see. Let's go to uh, debt. Let's stuff my debt binder. All right. So, in my line of credit, let's scoot this over. Let's see how much we have in here. We have seven. Seven dollars. And I am going to put. Ten dollars into line of credit. I did empty out the line of credit um, envelope and I made a payment, um, an extra payment last month. So let me color in my one shield. So I am 25% done with trying to save $1,000 towards my line of credit. All right, so I have one shield colored in with that $10. The $7, I will keep that there, um, and I will find $3 from somewhere so I can go ahead and get that next shield. So that's it for that. This I'm making really steady progress. Um, it's still very concerning whenever I see the interest rate because I'm like, yay, I'm making payments and everything is good. And then the interest hits and it kind of deflates your balloon a little bit. But, you know, I try to stay positive and like, hey, keep going, stay the course. It will all work out. Just keep doing what you're doing. Keep snowballing like you're snowballing and you'll be able to knock this out. For uh, the solar panels, I'm also going to put $10. Go ahead and I'm gonna get like a green. Let's color that in on my Detris. Each piece is worth $10 and each level that I color in is worth $500. So $10 for this. And I know I'm putting the money in all upside down and stuff. I usually go back and try to <laughs> clean it up at the end. All right, student loan. Student loan, um, student loan, I usually put prop money in here. Um, but I actually took out the money. Um, so I will stuff this with a real 20. I will go ahead and color in one of the squares. Look at that, look at that. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. All right, colored in one of the squares. I'm gonna put this $20 in here, but I will take this $20 out so that I can make the $20 payment towards my student loan, and then I will replace that with prop money. I just, I had it on the list and when I went to the bank, I just kind of, you know, didn't really pay too close attention and I ended up taking out the money for the student loan. 
and that is it for debt. All right, so let's see what we have left, or is it time to start with the savings challenges? I think it's time. All right, so this is my mystery set A. This is from Mystic Budgets, and the last time I did a video, I scratched off 14, so we're gonna stuff this one, and then I'm going to pick another one for me to scratch so I'll know how much I need to stuff in my next video. So let's stuff this one. That is, and I don't have $14, so I'm just gonna stuff 15. Let me see, how do I wanna fold this? I'm totally okay with stuffing a little extra. Okay. And then we are going to scratch this to see how much we have to have for next time. And it looks like 22. Oh, I'm really shaking. I feel it. <laughs> All right. So $22 for next time video is what I'm going to stuff in my mystery set. Um, again, from Mystic Budgets, I have her information down in the description box, and I'm using my Larry the Llama coin to scratch, and that came from Hands and Bands. Um, her information as well is down in the description box. So this one has been a lot of fun. I want to say um, this is the mystery set is $250 once everything is stuffed, but I need to check. But I think it's $250, so a lot of fun. All right, moving on, let's go to my 100 envelope. So for the 100 envelope, I'm going to stuff $40. Let's see, do I have any? Nope. If I don't have enough to buy that envelope that I want to buy. I usually take the money like you guys know and I just fold it up and put it in here and then I add it to whatever denomination I'm putting in there the next time. But I don't have any money waiting in here so I am going to stuff 40. So let me find my sticker. Where is 40? Here it is over here. 40. I love these little stickers. And we're gonna put this right in here. Until next time, slow and steady. I got the whole year to try to fund this um, because the proceeds from this is going to go towards my husband's truck payment. Um, I believe, I need to count again, but I think it's like $5,050. $5, um, is what we'll save and then that money will go towards my husband's car payment truck payment the intent is to get it paid off this year in 2023 let's move on to my other savings challenges all right this one is my favorite let me grab my marker there we go. This one is my $1 challenge. This came from DigiPapert. Um, her information is down in the description box. And this is the one that I recycle over and over and over. So this is my third time stuffing this $1 savings challenge. Um, the amount is $100. So every time I reach a hundred dollars i take that money and i will either put it towards debt or i will put it in my emergency fund last time i put it in the emergency fund so i put a little check mark so right now this hundred dollars that i'm working on is going to go towards debt so for today i'm going to put twenty dollars in here so let's go ahead and make our tick marks one two three four five six seven eight 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Perfect. And as you all know, the intent is for me to fully fund this every month and just kind of see if I can do that for the next 12 months. Fully fund this, saving $100 every month with this challenge. 
Next, we are going to stuff my $10 challenge, also from DigiPapered, and this one is specifically for home projects, things that I wanted to get for the house. Um, I have bought new rugs for my hallway. Um, I bought some stuff for both of our bathrooms. So just little things, um, little projects, things that we want to get fixed, things that we want to replace. I'm using this money to do it. I did take out, um, I think it was $110 last month to do, uh, to purchase all the things that I just talked about. So now I'm replenishing it. So for this stuffing, I'm going to put $40 back in here. So we'll do one, two, and let's just go here, three and four. Perfect. Next is going to be my 2K savings challenge. This one is a 32-week savings challenge, and this is specifically for the month of May. Um, I have talked about the month of May and everything we have going on in the month of May um, in several videos, but I'm trying to save $2,000 to help with all of the costs that we are going to incur in the month of May. We have birthdays, we have graduation, we got a lot of stuff going on in the month of May. So for today, we're gonna put in $60. So let me go ahead and get out my stickers. And I do have a $60 sticker. So 20, 40, and 60. And let's go over here and spread this up a little bit. All right. $60 and then the next one that I want to try I want to try to get one of these big ones knocked out like the 90 or the 100 or even the 80 I want to try to yeah because I have two hundreds on there so I want to try to focus on that for the next time I stuff this get those big ones out of the way all right and then what else um I have $20 left let's see I have funded the 2K. I put money into the 100 envelope. Hmm. I put money into the 10 and I put money into the 1. So I know, I know where this is going. Month ahead. This $20 is going to go into subscriptions. Because in the month of April, the next subscription that I need to pay for um, is my annual fee for my Walmart Plus subscription um, so that I get my groceries delivered um, for free. I believe it's $98. I need to look again and see exactly how much it is because I know everything went up. My Amazon Prime went up, so I was saving a certain amount and then I had to go back and add money to it because the Amazon Prime went up. But um, so for the Walmart um, subscription. I believe it's $98. So I'll check that. I should be pretty close. Um, if not, I will definitely have what I need before the end of the month. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. Yep. So I'll definitely have what I need before the end of the month so I can go ahead and get my Walmart plus subscription renewed. Um, it is worth it. <laughs> it's worth every penny. Um, and I use it quite often. I didn't think that I would use it that much and I kind of got the Walmart subscription because you do get 10 cents off of gas at any of the Walmart gas stations um, and you get some other perks. So I was like, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll definitely use it for gas, but I use the, the delivery all the time, all the time. All right, so that is it. That's it. I think we've stuffed everything that I wanted to stuff. Um, all of my envelopes got a little money, so we are good to go. That's it. Hopefully you guys are um, going to enter into my giveaway. It is a couple of days from being over. Um, it ends on March 15th at 11.59 p.m. And I will make another video and I will announce the two winners. The winners will receive um, two really special gifts um, that I did order from two of the great ladies here in our budgeting community. Um, and I have a couple of other, you know, little special things that I'm putting in there as well. So definitely, if you have not 
watch that video to enter into the giveaway, go watch it. Um, and I will see you guys in the next giveaway announcement video. Bye, y'all.